Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a differential equation, but a special type because p of x is a polynomial and we're given an equation that is satisfied by p of x, which is p plus p prime plus p double prime equals x to the fourth power. So the double prime is the second derivative, which is the derivative of the derivative. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and solve this problem because this is an easier case because p of x is a polynomial. And then I will also show you what Wolfram Alpha gave me. But when I entered it in its current form, it couldn't interpret it. So that's the problem with, you know, AI. If you don't give it the right prompt, you don't get the answer. Uh, you know, anyways. So let's get started. What am I thinking? P of x is a polynomial. So it's made up of powers of x that are non-negative integers. And since every time I differentiate a polynomial, its degree is reduced, right, uh, by 1. Because if you think about differentiating x to the nth power, that's going to become n times x to the power n minus 1, right? So the power uh, reduces. So that tells me that this polynomial must be of degree 4. In other words, p of x is quartic. Quartic means fourth degree. The degree of polynomials obviously play an important role. Uh, it helps us actually find uh, polynomials in polynomial equations. Okay, so since p of x is quartic, it has to be, right? It can't be quintic, it can't be cubic. We're just, we're just going to write it in the general quartic form. But one thing to, it's going to, one thing that's going to help us is the sum is x to the fourth. And the only x to the fourth is going to be coming from p of x because as you differentiate, it's going to lose the fourth power and then the third power. So p of x must start with 1 x to the fourth. In other words, the leading coefficient is 1, which is nice because we don't have to solve for that variable. Great. So let's go ahead and write p of x as x to the fourth plus b x cubed. I just skipped a because it's the coefficient of x to the fourth. In this case, a is equal to 1. And then plus c x squared plus dx plus e. So that's going to be my general quartic with a leading coefficient of 1. In other words, the monic quartic. Okay? So now, what am I going to do with this? I'll differentiate it, and I'll differentiate it again. And then add those up. And that should give me x to the fourth, solve for the problem, and then share with you the result from Wolfram Alpha, and then we'll kind of briefly talk about why that's the case. Anyways, without further ado, let's differentiate this. When you differentiate x to the fourth, it becomes 4x cubed. Let's align the like powers. When you differentiate bx cubed, it becomes 3bx squared. And then when you differentiate cx squared, you get 2cx. And finally, the derivative of dx is just d. Okay, this is the first derivative. The second derivative is the derivative of the first derivative. So that's going to become 12x squared. I'm going to put it down here. And then it's going to be the derivative of 3bx squared is going to be 6b because you're going to bring down the 2 and multiply by 3b, 6bx. And then the derivative of 2cx is just the coefficient of x, which is 2c or not 2c. Or do you see what I see? Okay, allow me to make that joke. Okay, great. Now, when I add p of x, p prime of x, and p double prime of x, I'm getting x to the fourth according to the given. So, the sum should be x to the fourth on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, we're just going to add in columns. That's why I line these up. So, now I can kind of add in columns like this and then like that. It's going to be a lot easier, trust me. And like this. And then finally like that. Okay? Cool. Let's go ahead and add these up. I'm getting x to the fourth on the right hand side. Obviously, shouldn't be a surprise. And then this is going to give me b plus 4x cubed. By the way, we can cross out the x to the fourth from both sides if you want, but I don't think that's super necessary. Oops. I'm kind of mess messing up with the, the wrong tool. So I'm trying to move this right over here. Okay, so I have room for the rest of the terms and then plus the coefficient of x squared is going to be 3b plus c plus 12 
that's times x squared. And then I have, I don't think it's going to fit, no matter what I do. 6b plus 2c plus dx. And finally, my constant is going to be 2c plus d plus e. Now, notice that everything except for x to the fourth has to cancel out, but you can also do the following. Cancel them out and set this equal to 0. Make sense? Let's rewrite it. b plus 4 times x cubed, maybe this way I can fit it, plus 3b plus c plus 12 to the times x squared, plus 6b plus 2c plus d times x, plus 2c plus d plus e, and that's equal to 0. x to the fourth cancelled out, and now I ended up with a cubic, which is equal to 0, identically 0 for all values of x, because this is a polynomial. So now, all the coefficients must be 0. Okay? So what does this give me? b plus 4 equals 0 obviously gives you b equals negative 4. The second equation gives you 3b plus c plus 12, which is negative 12 plus c plus 12 equals 0, which means c is equal to 0. Great. I got b and c so far. Now I got to find d and e. Go to the third equation, 6b, which is 6 times negative 4 plus 2c, or not 2c, which is 2 times 0, plus d equals 0. This is negative 24. From here, d becomes positive 24, right? And then finally, I'm going to find e, 2c, 2c keeps coming up, plus d plus e is equal to 0. Now, c is 0, d is 24, e is negative 24 from here, okay? So I got all my values. Let's make an ordered quintuple with these values. A was 1 or maybe a quadruple. So A is 1, B is negative 4, C is 0, D is 24, and E is negative 24. So these are the A, B, C, D, E values. Obviously, A is 1, which, which is the leading coefficient, right? Okay, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to plug those in. So my original polynomial was A, X to the 4, but that's just 1. So let's write it as x to the fourth plus bx cubed plus cx squared plus dx plus e. And now I'm going to replace b with negative 4. This is b, right? So that's going to be negative 4x cubed. Uh, I'm going to skip x squared because the coefficient of x squared is 0. And then d is 24 plus 24x and e is negative 24. So that is going to be my polynomial right? And I was trying to solve for that, and that's the solution. And if you differentiate this and add it, you'll see that it actually works. Great. So now, let's go ahead and take a look at what we get from Wolfram Alpha, and then we'll kind of briefly discuss why that's a little different. Okay. This is a second order linear ordinary differential equation, and the solution is, oh no, this is super complicated. But guess what? This contains our polynomial. Okay. Look at this. This is what we got for the solution. But why does it have all these additional things? Because we didn't solve it for a polynomial. We solved it in the general case for any function. How do you solve it? Homogeneous, non-homogeneous, put it together, so on and so forth. A lot of work. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.